Hello, scientists. Welcome to Draw Bio Mad. So I heard from you that you want to learn how to draw chromatin and nucleosome. So yes, so this tutorial I will show you how to do that in Illustrator. Without further ado, let's start to draw chromatin and nucleosome. So this will be the first nucleosome style that we will draw in. That is the nature review style, and then later on I will demonstrate this draw development style so because I also get some information from you guys that uh, you have the worry about uh, copyright issue so um, that's a quick solution that I can think of at the moment uh, is that um, I will draw a draw development style and you can go to the link down below and go to my website to download the uh, usage license so, um, and with the license, then you have the right to use uh, the image and the style. So, yeah, then uh, I hope that can help you to ease your uh, stress about these uh, publication logistics. Okay, so to draw the nature review style, let's first come to grab our ellipse tool and draw an ellipse. And then, uh, so essentially we will be creating a cylinder, so let's grab our rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle. I will make it into a different color so you can see how it will be built up. Let me get my swatches and then I'll pick the red. Okay, and then I will duplicate this ellipse if I put it to the front then you'll see uh, how it uh, is built up so we have this we have this top ellipse of the cylinder and then that's the body and that's the base and we just need to uh, use Pathfinder tool to combine all of them then tilt it so uh, yeah let's get started to do that I think my ellipse is a little bit too wide so I will narrow it down just a little bit and then I'll align this one to the bottom this one as well okay all right, and then I'll select the uh, two shapes on the right. So I'll go to our Pathfinder tool to unite them. Okay, that looks good. And we will need to apply a gradient on it. So I have the gradient ready over here. Uh, so I'll just uh, put it on and then select not minus 90 degree. And then for the top one, uh, I will put in the green fill and we need a slightly lighter one so let's go to color guide and then put on the lighter green then we need to give it the outline of uh, the gray over here I will make the outline slightly thinner so look more elegant okay uh, yeah uh, well in my example they're still actually quite thick so uh, I'll keep it that way I'm going to create the DNA that is wrapping around the histones so um, let's quickly grab our ellipse and then duplicate it So if you cancel the fill, then you'll see it can uh, look like the DNA that wraps around the cylinder. So um, it is not very uh, obvious now, but if you change it into the dark blue color and increase the thickness of the stroke, then you'll see uh, it is starting to look like the uh, DNA that you see on Nature Review. Then the next step is we need to put uh, some part of the DNA to the back so it will look like it is wrapping around our cylinder. Um, we need to put the left part of the path to the back. That means we need to break this ellipse path. First, 
select these two anchor points and then go to this function here this button here called cut path that selected anchor points so when you press on it then you'll see that your path is braked at the anchor points that you just selected then if you put this part to the back then you'll see oh uh, now it, it's starting to look like it is wrapping around the cylinder so if we take a closer look we'll see um it looks a little bit awkward here because we have not changed the ending of our path to round ending so we need to come here to appearance stroke then choose a round cap okay then we will need to ex enlarge our path a little bit so uh, the ending will be uh, out of the uh, border of our cylinder okay that's starting to look quite nice then I will duplicate this and put it here then put this part to the back so now you have DNA wrapping around your histone um, so uh, the last part that we need to do is to tilt it and then uh, apply the extension of our DNA. Now group them again. Now it looks fine. And go to our rotate tool. Then tilt minus 15 degree. Let's preview it. It looks good and okay. So then that's create two straight lines, horizontal lines underneath. So this will later on be our extension. Now the last thing that we need to do is to connect our extension with our uh, DNA that's wrapping around the histone. And that can be very easily done because we already have them uh, broken apart over here um, so first let's manage this part let's select the lower anchor point and connect it to the extension and then we will select this pad at the back Select the lower anchor point and then move it over here. And then let's connect the open ending to here. Um, here it looks a little bit awkward because uh, they are not exactly connected. We can adjust the handle a little bit to make it uh, look more natural when they're connecting and if you really want to uh, make it even smoother you can select the both of the anchor point here and then go to connect select endpoints you can also do that here and then put it to the back okay and here it looks a little bit too much i will move it back here so I can maintain more of the wraparound shape so yeah that's how you draw these nucleosomes in a nature review style and I will group them and uh, you can start to make your own extension of your nucleosome by just duplicating them and um, so, um, because I received messages uh, from uh, you guys that some of you have concern about uh, copyright, uh, so I'm not sure if they have trademarked their illustrations. I think most likely no, but if you do have concern, you can use the uh, style that I develop here. Uh, it is in a very similar manner, but um, then if you use this, uh, you can download free usage license from my website. So, so then you don't need to worry about copyright infringement because then you have my free usage license. 
So I'll very quickly show you how to do the draw bow mat style. Um, the basic principles are all the same. First create an ellipse and um, fill in the gradient and the color. I'll just uh, cheat and select my uh, pre-existing one from there. Then create your uh, DNA. And also then create your ellipse shape DNA. Um, I will also copy the style from there. And just duplicate it. Mm, okay. I will and I will zoom in a little bit so uh, I can see clearer. Okay, um, just for the sake of aligning it, I'll group these two and then go here to align them. By doing this, I can make sure they're aligned. And I'll ungroup these parts. Okay, and we will do the same thing that we learned a little bit earlier, just to break these paths apart. And then send the uh, back part to the back. So the distance between these two wraps should be around 20 pixels. Uh, it is not a strict distance, so you can you can apply whatever distance that you think look best for your graphical abstract. And that's put on the extension of the DNA here, one on the left, and then another one on the right. We need to right, move the right extension a little bit further to the right. So the distance between the ring and the extension is about the distance between the two rings. Okay, and then now we are ready to connect all the loose ends. Then we can zoom in a little bit to further refine our um, extension. Okay, and then I'll, we can you can always uh, adjust the size of the DNA wrap. So just then uh, see how tight you want it to uh, wrap around your histone. Okay, and then just group them and then make uh, as many extension as you want. So that is the drawbound mess style and uh, there's a free usage license you can download from my website. The link is in the video description. So I hope this can help you with your molecular biology graphical abstract. Let me know in the comments if you want to learn any other structures. I wish you all happy drawbound mat and I look forward to see you in the next tutorial.